Hey, what's up guys? This is my video to tell you guys about the Valdauta Optics TX Raider, three to 25 by 50, 35 millimeter tube, absolutely tier one, incredible, badass freaking scope. These things kick a ton of ass and if you guys will stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you how to save 10% on any Valdauta scope. It's a way for me personally to say thank you to you guys that watch my channel, have supported it these last three years, and are interested in getting a tier one scope and save yourself a little money. This is this type of scope right here that I don't give a shit who you are. If you're Stevie Wonder, you're gonna get excited about this. All right, enough of my talk. Let's check it out, and then I'll show you how to save some money. All right, there she is, along with some of her stable mates, the other Valdotta scopes. This thing is short, heavy, Built like a freaking tank. Let's look at the features of it up close one at a time. There's nothing to look at in a box, so I won't waste your time with that bullshit. First up is the eyepiece on this thing. The best way I know how to describe it is that it feels like the volume knob on a really high-end stereo. All the controls on this thing do. You can't imagine the level of precision of a scope of this build quality compared to a budget scope. Everything on this scope is just incredible. You just have to see it and use it to be able to appreciate it. It's like a fine sports car. Until you jump your ass behind the wheel, you don't know what you're missing. Now on the side of it is illumination and it's digital. It has an up and down and all you have to do to replace the battery is just unscrew it and put a new battery in. There's the cap and it's all sealed up with O-rings, of course. And to turn the illumination off, all you have to do is hold both buttons down for just a second and it shuts down. And you just push them up and down to get the illumination. The one thing that illuminates is the dot in the center, not the entire reticle, which is cool. All you really need is the dot at dusk. The side focus goes all the way down to 10 meters and goes up to infinity. It's not marked because it doesn't need to be. At every distance that I turned it to, the parallax was absolutely gone and the focus was sharp as a razor. Now something else that's really cool about this freaking scope is the zero stop. It's one little screw right there on the top. You get it to where you want the zero stop, tighten it down just until it gets snug and you're good to go. The turrets lock, they can be re-zeroed by using the Allen wrench. And one thing that's really cool, check this out. This thing has another additional little dial right here. Now say, that you want to set your scope for two different distances. Turn it back to zero, say that's 100 yards, and just for the sake of argument, let's say that five on this thing is going to be 400 yards, so you have two different zero points, so you don't have to worry about holdover. You just set it up and roll. All right, here we go, downrange. First thing we want to look at is a couple of different box tests, and look at the crosshair on this thing. Look at the background. Look how clear everything is. There's going to lead, like I say, back-to-back -back box test. You'll see the illumination come on in just a second. It's just the dot. This thing is incredibly freaking precise, predictable, and it works like a charm. Something to think about when you're looking at a scope like this. Don't think of it as a pair of channel locks. Think of this thing as a big bench vise. That's what this scope feels like. It is heavy freaking duty. You could take this thing and knock a mailbox right off the post at 60 miles an hour. If you've ever played mailbox baseball, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here comes the point of impact shift for the magnification. Of course, there's nothing. The focus point of impact was exactly the same way. Absolutely nothing. And right here, you can see that it's moving exactly three mils for each one. And look here at how all the lines line up on the mill radian chart. It's a badass. Now it's time for a little turret torture. Alright, I'm getting this in first. Holy shit, shit, shit. It's a badass move. Look at that freaking shit. 
Oh yeah, and the ring bass combination, that's Valdotta's King Kong ring bass combination. With 25 built-in MOA and drop pins to lock it in. You ain't tearing this son of a job. All right guys, thanks for watching. Now here comes the money saving part. Val and I tried to work it out where we could do this online, but we're not computer guys. I spent the day with him and we talked about this and worked this out. Call Val or whoever answers the phone at Valdotta Optics. Tell him that you saw this on Cyclops videos. Now on some of the stuff, he'll give you an even greater discount, but at least it's gonna be 10% off. And when you're talking about scopes in this price range, that's a pretty substantial savings. I know it's gonna sound corny, but a big part of the reason I started a YouTube channel was to try to give honest information to guys out there. When I first started watching YouTube, I got screwed over that deep right up the tailpipe because I didn't realize so many of these videos are basically infomercials. That's not really what my channel is about. My channel is trying to help guys make the best buying choice they can in optics. And when you're talking about the true tier one, long range precision type optics, whether you're just a hunter or you're one of these guys like me that like to shoot at little bitty shit a long freaking ways out there, the Valdata Optics will do it. The damn things track like a nearsighted Indian. They have as good a glass as anything on the market. I don't care what the brand name is, anything on the market. And they don't gouge the shit out of you because they have a name that starts with a Z or an S. I've got a lot of cool Valdotta stuff coming, and I know there's guys out there that think, well, if you're promoting it that hard, you must be working for them. The fact of the matter is, the company is two hours from where I live. We go to a really nice range together. They're just great people. They're a blast to hang out with, and who wouldn't enjoy spending the day behind a tier one scope with tier one company? Take care, guys.